It was a cool summer's night on the island of Sodor. All of the engines were very busy and there were lots of jobs to do. Gordon pulled the express and Percy took the mail. He delivered letters and parcels across the whole island. Thomas was delivering coal to the coaling plant. It was a very long journey and a very heavy train. Thomas worked all night puffing through the countryside. At last, Thomas had delivered all the coal. He was very tired. I'm puffed out, said Thomas. I wish I'd had some help delivering the coal. Pah, huffed Gordon. A really useful engine doesn't need help. Then Sir Topham had arrived. I need an engine to run three special deliveries for me, Sir Topham had said. I can do it, puffed Thomas. He was tired, but he wanted to prove he was a really useful engine. Very well, Thomas, you must take some chickens to the market, sheep to the farm, and the children to school. That's a very big job for a small engine, chuffed Gordon. You're bound to need some help. This made Thomas cross. Tank engines don't need help, snapped Thomas. We're really useful. And he puffed away. Chickens to market, sheep to the farm, and children to school, Thomas puffed. First, Thomas collected the chickens. Next, Thomas puffed into the valley. All the sheep were waiting for him. Come on, Thomas panted to the sheep. I'll take you to the farm. <laughs> Finally, Thomas trundled into the station. He was very tired. The children's smiling faces made him feel happy. But his axles were aching. The children were all on board and Thomas puffed away. Thomas puffed up Gordon's Hill. And through Henry's Tunnel. It was a very long way. His pistons were pounding and his axles were aching. But Thomas kept puffing. Chickens to market, sheep to the farm, children to school, Thomas panted. Thomas was getting more and more tired. He started to get confused. Sheep to market, children to the farm, chickens to school, yawned Thomas. When Thomas arrived at the market, he was very confused indeed. Please unload the sheep, said Thomas. He should have said chickens, but now the sheep were unloaded. Then Emily arrived. Emily could see that Thomas was tired. Would you like some help? asked Emily. No, thank you, puffed Thomas. Tank engines don't need help. But Thomas did need help. He was worn out. At last the sheep were unloaded. Thomas puffed away. Sheep to market, children to the farm, and chickens to school, yawned Thomas sleepily. When Thomas got to the farm, he told the children that it was their stop. So all the children got off at Farmer McColl's. Thomas was terribly tired. Finally, Thomas arrived at the school. Only the chickens were left. So the chickens were unloaded. And Thomas puffed back to the sheds.
Sir Topham Hatt was in his office. He was getting lots of phone calls. The sheep had knocked over lots of market stalls. The children had seen all the farm animals. And the classroom was full of chickens. At last, Thomas puffed into Tidmouth sheds. He was looking forward to a nice, long sleep. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, you have caused confusion and delay, he said. Sir Topham had told Thomas what had happened. Thomas was upset. He was very tired, and now he had to go and do his jobs all over again. Don't worry, Sir Topham had said. All you need is some help. Gordon said a really useful engine never needs help, moaned Thomas. Ha! <laughs> laughed Edward. I'm always helping Gordon up the hill. Gordon was very embarrassed. Percy and Edward, you are to help Thomas, Sir Topham had said. So Thomas puffed away with his friends. Percy took the sheep from the market to the farm. Edward took the chickens from the school to the market. And Thomas collected the children. Sorry, Thomas puffed to the children. I didn't mean to take you to the wrong place. We don't mind, said the children. We had a grand day out seeing the animals and learning all about the farm. And that night when Thomas finally went to sleep, he dreamt about sheep and chickens and children.